spinal cord tumors are dangerous so and the surgery for spinal cord tumors is difficult so in the recent times there are many new technologies which help us surgeons in removing the spinal cord tumors effectively and safely and safely one such equipment which is useful for surgical removal of intramedullary spinal cord tumors is an ultrasonic aspirator i am dr kalyan i am a neurosurgeon and spine surgeon in this episode i will be telling you what is an ultrasonic aspirator how is it useful in surgery for spinal cord tumors particularly spinal cord tumors like ependymoma so let's discuss about ultrasonic aspirator in spinal cord ependymoma or astrocytoma surgery so let's speak about ultrasonic aspirator in spinal cord tumor like ependymoma or astrocytoma how is what is this ultrasonic aspirator how is it useful how will it increase the efficiency and the safety margin first a brief introduction regarding what is spinal cord ependymoma so ependymoma is a type of spinal cord tumor that arises from the ependymal cells so what are these ependymal cells you see this spinal cord in the center of the spinal cord is the central canal the cells lining the central canal are called ependymal cells and the tumor arising from these ependymal cells is called an ependymoma so this is an example of the cervical cord ependymoma so where does the arise they can arise at various levels of the spinal cord including the cervical region the thoracic region and the lumbar region and what are their characteristics they are typically slow growing tumors they compress the spinal cord and cause neurological symptoms and now what is an ultrasonic aspirator so this is a typical ultrasonic aspirator which we use in our setup in our hospital so ultrasonic aspirator is a surgical tool that uses ultrasonic energy to fragment and remove the tumor tissue so how does it function it pulverizes it breaks down the tumor tissue into smaller pieces which can then be aspirated or suctioned out the ultrasonic aspirators offer precise tissue removal tissue preservation and can be used in minimal invasive approaches so basically ultrasonic aspirator is a complication is a combination of three surgical things it has a ultrasound ultrasonic pulverizer so there is a ultrasonic material in it second one there is an irrigation cannula which continuously irrigates the operative field with saline so there is an irrigation cannula and third is an aspiration channel so the small pieces of the tumor so how this happen this ultrasonic ultrasonic portion breaks the tumor tissue into smaller 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 pieces this irrigation channel continuously pours water into it so that this forms something like a easily suckable tissue and this aspirator sucks the tissue let's go so first portion was the ultrasonic one which pulverizes the tissue so just let's see an animation so this is my ultrasonic aspirator see this is breaking the tumor tissue into small 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 pieces this is the primary function of the ultrasonic aspirator so the ultrasonic aspirators are effective in debulking or removing tumor tissue let's go back again see let's see we'll try to see it again okay let's see this video again so the ultrasound see from here it's breaking down the tissue into small 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 pieces very small it pulverizes the tissue this is the function of the ultrasonic portion of the ultrasonic aspirator so the ultrasonic aspirators that effective in debulking are removing tumor tissue from the spinal cord how do they do it ultrasonic energy 
tech, which is emitted by the aspirator helps to break down the tumor allowing for the precise removal while minimizing damage to the healthy tissue it also helps in tissue preservation let's see this video so the ultrasonic aspirator is more dangerous for the tumor and it is less dangerous for the spinal nerves less dangerous for the blood vessels less less, less dangerous for the spinal cord so when it comes let's see so when we are near the tumor the tumor is being destroyed but the vessels and the nerves are, are relatively more resistant try to understand here they are relatively more resistant what does this mean so how do they preserve so preservation of normal tissue and neural structures is crucial in spinal cord tumors such as this is obvious so the ultrasonic aspirators selectively target and remove tumor tissue while preserving the normal healthy tissue they are more selective for the tumor tissue and they preserve the normal healthy tissue blood vessels and healthy tissues are usually more resistant to ultrasonic aspirator and thus increasing the safety margin but i have told you this function is not absolute that is if you apply more pressure if you are not experienced you can damage the blood vessels you can damage the nerves you can damage the spinal cord with the ultrasonic aspirator so even though ultrasonic aspirator increases the margin of safety it doesn't mean that you you, you cannot injure the normal tissue so a surgeon with proper experience proper expertise proper training can use this machine to minimize the damage to the surrounding tissues next go precision because the the probe the, the probe of ultrasound aspirator is very sleek it can help in re remove precise it helps in precise tissue removal which is critical in spinal cord surgery to avoid damage to surrounding tissues they provide control tissue removal and because the probe is very sleek you can it, it is useful in minimally invasive approaches they are versatile and can be used in various surgical approaches making them suitable for different types of spinal cord tumors including ependymoma in this picture you can see we have made a small hole through this small hole you are applying the ultrasonic aspirator and thus achieving our goal as i have told you the ultrasonic aspirator is a valuable tool i can give an example even if you are traveling a mercedes or a big car even though it's more safer than smaller cars but still the experience of the driver counts so similarly the ultrasonic aspirator should be performed by experienced surgeons who are well versed in their appropriate usage and safety precautions ultrasonic aspirators are valuable tools in spinal cord tumor surgery including for ependymoma providing precise tissue removal precise tumor resection tissue preservation and also it provides versatility thank you so hope i have explained very clearly what is an ultrasonic aspirator the use whether your operation has been done with ultrasonic aspirator or without it makes a difference ultrasonic aspirators increases the safety margin if you have any doubts any doubts regarding spinal cord tumors whatsapp on the number which is being scrolled below if you like this channel subscribe to it and do share this video with your friends colleagues cousins who are suffering from spinal cord tumors thank you for the day